good morning guys so we'll go with next topic that is called mass matrices how to determine your mass matrix for uh, your uh, elements that means infinite elements okay in dynamic analysis of a structure in addition to the stiffness of the structure a property essential in dynamic behavior is inertia or mass which is represented by mass matrix i think already we had uh, written that equation because what is that equation you used mx double dot plus kx equals to zero or kx equals to f that means stiffness is also required yeah like that even you require a mass also that mass matrix we are going to derive here there are two types of mass matrices will be there one is called consistent mass matrix and one more is called lumped mass matrix what is consistent mass matrix means a mass matrix is a direct representation of a continuous mass distribution that is called your consistent mass matrix now already we have derived this expression a basic equation for how to derive your mass matrix that is me equals to volume integral rho into n transpose n into dv now See, we'll go with the first initial element that is like a basic element in FEM. What is that? 1D bar element. The bar element, what is a consistent mass matrix for an initial bar element? See, for that, first write in a bar element. You know that how to represent a bar element. You can write it in line, line, line element or you can write like this also, not a problem. A bar element having a displacement Q1 and Q2 at each. Uh, that, that for node 1, we have Q1, node 2, we have Q2. That is Q1 and Q2 are the displacements. dv equals to a into dx. That means here I take a small element of volume and convert that into area into dx. Then length of the element, x1, everything. Okay, similarly, we know what is the basic equation for mass matrix, me equals to, me equals to uh, volume integral rho into n transpose n into dv. This is what, same expression I written. Now, how for this, this is a three-dimensional element, but we have to write it for a one-dimensional element. What is one-dimensional element? Take now, length of the element, rho n transpose, now convert the volume into a into dx. Now, this is what the equation is going to get it. Now, from this equation, now, see what is this equation? From this equation, you take it, what is n? See, n for bar element, we know what is n for bar element. See, u is equal to, we know that, n q. What is n q? n1 q1 plus n2 q2. n1 q1 plus n2 q2. Now, what is n1 q1 plus n2 q2? Just observe here. I can write this in the form of matrix. That is n1 n2 into q1 q2. q1 q2. Now, what is this called? This will be equal. That means u is equal to n q. Now, you got what is for bar element, what is n q? What is n? n is equal to n1 n2 if you uh, n1 n2 what is n transpose n same thing rewrite in the form of an column n1 n2 now for bar element what is n1 what is n2 n1 is equal to already you know what is n1 n2 1 minus zeta by 2 n2 is equal to 1 minus zeta by 2 now the problem is see if you observe this this is in zeta but our equation mass matrix if you write it here retrace here or i can write that is equation number one length of the element rho n transpose n into a into dx but it is in terms of x is there now we can we have to replace dx by d zeta how to replace it we know the relation between x and zeta that is zeta equals to 2 into x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1 minus 1 so if you do this what is this d zeta will be equal to we know that 2 by le into dx now dx is equal to le by 2 into d zeta early i think early error we have done it in previous chapter also we have used this relation how to convert from natural global coordinate to natural coordinate. Now I can write this equation, I will substitute it in your equation number 1. Okay, this is your equation number 1. If you substitute it, what happens? Just observe me equals to. Now limits become minus 1 to plus 1. Why? Because zeta. Zeta is varies from minus 1 to plus 1. Rho n transpose n a into, what is this? Le by 2 into d zeta. That means what is common now? See, rho a le by 2 minus 1 to plus 1 into n transpose n into d zeta is there. Now, I will take what is first n transpose and n. See, we know that what is n transpose and what is n. Already we written. See, I will write it here. What is n transpose? n1, n2. Now, what is n? n1, n2. See, if you multiply it, what is the value you are going to get it? Just observe here. This is a 2 rows, 1 column. This is 1 row, 2 column. That means you are going to get 2 cross 2 matrix. What is 2 cross 2 matrix? If you multiply it, row into column. First row into first column. That is n1 square. First row into second column that is n1 n2, then second row into uh, second one that is n1 n2, then n2 square. That means n transpose n will be this. Now I'll just I'll rewrite this here. Okay, that means I'll substitute back in your equation. What is that mass mass matrix? M e equals to rho a l e by 2 minus 1 to plus 1. N transpose n can be written like this because we are multiplied n1 square, n1 n2, n1 n2 n2 square into d zeta. You got it as correct. Now, from this, I will take first term. What is first term? See, minus 1 to plus. That means I will go with the individual integration of this. Later, I will substitute all the values into d zeta. If I take first this term, 
We know what is n1 for bar element. Already we have written. Minus 1 to plus 1. What is n1? n1 for bar element is 1 minus zeta by 2. 1 minus 1 minus zeta divided by 2. 1 minus zeta divided by 2. What is n1 is zeta divided by 2? 1 minus zeta by 2 whole square into d zeta. So what is 1 minus zeta by 2 means 1 by 4 I can keep it outside. Minus 1 to plus 1. What is that? 1 minus zeta whole square into d zeta. That if you calculate it 1 by 4 minus 1 to plus 1. Now 1, that means a by a, a minus b whole square, 1 plus zeta square minus 2 zeta into d zeta. If you go for integration of this, what is the integration of this? If you go 1 by 4, okay, integration of this is zeta plus zeta cube by 3 minus 2 zeta square by 2. What is the limits for it? Minus 1 to plus 1. If you go for applying your limits, upper limit 1 plus 1 by 3 minus 2 to cancel, that is minus 1. Okay, then minus of, minus of, minus 1, then minus 1 by 3, minus 1 by 3, then here, uh, minus, that means minus 1. Okay, if you simplify this, 1 by 4, 1 plus 1 by 3, minus 1, minus to minus plus 1, that's correct, minus to minus plus 1. Next, if you go for minus into minus, plus 1 by 3, okay, minus into minus plus 1. That means here, we are going to cancel two ones. Okay, that means what is the answer you are going to get? One by four. If you take LCM is what? Three LCM means three. Three means three plus one four. Four four four. That means four plus four. Eight by three you are going to get it. Eight by three. Okay, eight by three is nothing but what is this? Two by three is the answer. Two by three is the answer you are going to get it. Okay, this is for integration of uh, minus one to plus one. And also that means one term I done. Similarly, repeat next step. Minus one to plus one. Minus one to plus one n1 into n2 into d zeta n1 into into d zeta okay what is n1 into now minus 1 to plus 1 what is n1 into n1 is minus 1 by 1 by zeta by 1 minus zeta by 2 1 plus zeta by 2 into d zeta now just observe here 1 by 4 is outside now what is this a plus b a minus b into a plus b that means what is the answer you are going to do this a square minus b square uh, that means minus 1 my mi 1 1 minus zeta square into d zeta now once again go for integration of this 1 by 4 cubit outside, what is the integration of it? Zeta minus zeta cube by 3. Minus 1 to plus 1. Now just simplify this 1 by 4. What is the upper limit? 1 minus, that is 1 by 3. Minus of, minus of, see so minus of minus 1, plus 1. Okay, minus of minus 1 is plus 1. Then minus of, minus of, in the bracket, what is it? Minus 1 by 3 means plus 1 by 3. That is plus 1 by 3. Minus of 1 is plus 1 by 3, this is minus 1 by 3 only, which are minus 1 by 3. If you simplify this, 3 minus 1, 3 minus 1, that is 4 by 3, you are going to get answer is 1 by 3. You are going to get answer, that is minus 1 to plus 1, n1 into into d zeta, you are going to get plus 1 by 3. Now, similarly, one more term is that, because what are the common terms here? n1 square is there, n1 into, already done, done n1 into, because both are same. Next, n2 square is there. Now, how to do your n2 square? To do your n2 square. To do your n2 square, now take it, same thing. Now, because 3 common terms, minus 1 to plus 1, n2 square into d zeta. What is n2 square? n2 square is nothing but minus 1 to plus 1, 1 plus zeta by 2 whole square into d zeta. 1 plus zeta by 2 means same thing, 1 by 4, keep it outside. Minus 1 to plus 1, what is the answer? 1 plus 2 zeta plus zeta square. a square plus b square minus plus 2 zeta into d zeta. Now, if you simplify this, if you go for integration of this, 1 by 4, See, 1 that is zeta plus 2 zeta square by 2 plus zeta cube by 3. Limit is minus 1 to plus 1. Go for limits 1 by 4. Upper limit 1 plus 2 to cancels 1 plus 1 by 3 minus of. Minus 1 means minus of minus 1 minus 1. This is minus 1 means here once again it is become plus 4 minus 1 means plus 1. Okay, plus 1. Then here minus 1 by 3. Minus 1 by 3. If you can do it this 1 plus 1 by 3 is minus minus plus 1 okay this is minus 1 minus 1 by 3 minus minus plus 1 by 3 if you solve this you are going to get the answer is 2 by 3 it is almost similar to your previous one okay minus 1 to plus 1 into n2 square into d zeta now if you combine all the values what is all the values means just take your mass matrix m e equals to rho a l e by 2 rho a l e by 2 now already we integrated it the matrix what you are going to get that is integration of just observe here this one See what is the CFR? 
So integration of n1 square into d zeta. What is the integration of n1 square into d zeta values? 2 by 3. Okay. Similarly, integration of integration of n1 n2 into d zeta. What is the value of integration of n1 n2 into d zeta? 1 by 3. Similarly, integration of next value is also 1 by 3. Now, 2 by 3. Now, if you combine this, me is equal to, what is common? 3 is common. Rho a le by 6, 2, 1, 1, 2. Now, this is called a mass matrix for bar element. This is called a consistent mass matrix for bar element. See, this you can do by one more method. Directly, you can substitute the values here. Okay, you can integrate it. See, if you go for integration, it will become matrix become little bit lengthy because of that. I take an individual terms like one one term minus one to plus one n one square into d zeta. What is the integration term? Similarly, minus one to plus one n one into n two. Why are not an n one into two? Because both are same. Okay. Then similarly, n two square into d zeta. And if you all solve it and you substitute it, you are going to get a value is rho a le by six two one one two. This is called mass matrix for bar element. That what what type of mass matrix? Consistent mass matrix. Consistent consistent mass matrix consistent mass matrix for bar element